In this video, we're going to walk through the steps that are required in order to perform an immediate backup onto an external hard disk. The first thing we need to do is click on Backup in the upper left and click Continue. And then we can decide what disk we want to back up. We can either back up our internal hard disk or we can back up a client machine that's on our network. We'll go ahead and select the internal hard disk. If we want to select a filter or rule, then we can do that down here. We're going to go ahead and click on Continue. And then we need to select or create a backup set or media set if we haven't done so already. So we click on Plus, and we can call this My Immediate Backup. And then we click on Add in order to select the disk we want to put our data onto. So we're going to select our USB hard drive, and we'd like to back up and use 99% of the free space on that disk. And then we click on Add. We can then click Continue. And then we get to the summary window that shows that we're going to back up our Macintosh hard disk to the My Immediate Backup media set. And then I click on Preview. And if I click Preview, I can go ahead and deselect items that I don't want to back up. Or you can select all files or just a couple of files. It's typically going to be best to back up all files whenever possible. And then to start the backup, you go ahead and click on Start Now. You can then go to Activities. And under the Running tab, Retrospect will show you the progress of that current backup operation. You'll also have a Log button that you can click on that will show you if there are any errors being reported or any other alerts that you need to be aware of.